Hello there Pisces, welcome to my channel, my name is Rosa and I'm here to bring you another weekly love tarot read. This is for entertainment purposes only, so just take what you need and leave the rest guys. Um, with that uh, being said, uh, you can always book a personal and private reading with me and all those details will be in the show more section below. Uh, these six cards will form the main part of the read, guys. Stick around to the very end. We're going to draw an animal spirit card from the wild unknown to draw extra messages surrounding the person that you are dealing with or thinking of. Um, but to kick off this read, guys, we are going to start off with a Romance Angels Oracle card to sort of get an overall feel and vibe of what's coming through for you in the upcoming week regarding love and relationships. And um, I just want to make mention, guys, um, that I really do appreciate all of the likes, shares and subscribes. And your support is very much appreciated, guys. And it really does help the growth of the channel. So I just want to remind you that I'm really, really appreciative of every single one of you. And um, happy birthday, Pisces. Happy birthday. I hope it's a good one for you as well so let's see what is coming through uh, for you in the upcoming days and weeks Pisces let's have a look and see what's coming through for our Pisces regarding love and relationships in the upcoming okay this one wants to come through mm, I could see this even before this card came out this is a reconciliation card Someone from your past is returning to your life. I do feel that. I, I feel that. I can see it in the cards here and I'll explain why. So I feel like there's someone from the past that's coming back around very, very clearly here. I do feel like on some level this person uh, confuses you. Um, you feel uncertain about this person. Okay, You feel unsure about this person because... This person's never been very, very clear with how they feel towards you. But I do feel like on some level you do want to reconcile and you do want to reunite with this person. I still feel like there's unfinished business here. The Six of Cups is in reverse, right? This is unfinished business with someone. They are coming back around. I am seeing with the King of Swords here that, um, you know, this person is very much thinking about you uh, you take up and you occupy a lot of this person's thoughts and you've even got the hermit here in the reverse so this person is coming out of silence maybe this person disconnected from you in the past okay um king of swords the sword is in the upright this person dis did disconnect from you maybe they stopped talking to you but i do feel with the hermit in the reverse here they're coming back around the hermit is about silence retreat seclusion but when he's in the reverse this is breaking out of silence so i do feel like you're going to hear from someone here they do want to talk to you okay they want to tell you something here all right. Um, you've got the devil here and you've got the queen of cups. I do feel like you're still obsessed over this person. Okay. I still feel like you still care for this person. Um, I feel like you may possibly welcome them with open arms. I, I, on some level, you are still thinking about each other. I feel like you haven't fully been able to let this person go. Um, and I'm seeing with the devil here, okay, um, there's still this tie between you guys, okay, maybe this person still holds something over you, um, I feel like you and this person are at this point still obsessing over each other, it could very well be a, a sexual obsession that you have with each other, okay, um, Yeah, I feel that with the Devil card. You could be dealing with the Capricorn here. You could be dealing with the Virgo here as well and another Pisces here. Could be dealing with the Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces. And with the King of Swords, it's an Air, air sign as well. Uh, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. So take what speaks, guys. But 
but I do feel like this person has you under their spell. Or maybe this person is under your spell. Okay, I feel like you're mesmerized by each other. But, you know, is this a healthy connection? I'm not sure with the devil. I don't think so. Okay, there's something that's drawing you both back in toward each other, but I don't feel like it's for the best. Like I said, it could be sexual uh, and it's all for the wrong reasons. But that could be the illusion that you're both needing to break free from. And I still feel like you do it for this person and I still feel like this person still does it for you. Okay. Um, there is temptation here. You're feeling very, very tempted to go back to this person. Uh, you may even feel the need to reach out to this person. Okay. There's, because you're still focused on them. Six of Cups is about the past. This is definitely someone from the past here. Okay, this is unfinished business. This is unresolved. This is, you know, um, it's not finished. It's not over, guys. <laughs> I hate to say it's not over. You might think that it is, but... Um, if you're being honest with yourself, like on some degree, you do want this person to come back around. Okay. Um, I also feel like, you know, the Queen of Cups, she's very intuitive. And I feel like you can sense that this person is coming closer. You can sense them around you. Okay. You're picking up on their energy. You're picking up on their vibe. You may be even telepathically speaking and communicating to this person. Trust me, they're picking up on it. They sense it. You sense each other, actually. But I, I feel like this is an unhealthy attraction to each other. Um, and with the moon here, it's talking about clearing it up, maybe the reconciliation, maybe the reunion that's happening or taking place here is about clearing up something here, sort of like, um, how can I explain it? You know, this person brought a lot of uncertainty to you and you want answers. You want to know, like, is there a possibility of this turning into something serious or is this just a casual encounter? Is this just sexual? Does, does this move past the sex and deepen into something more emotional? Like, I feel like you want answers. You want to know. So if the reconciliation is taking place, I feel like you will let them back in because you want answers. You want to know, can it can it be more than just what it currently is physical? There could be um, some truth coming forward from this King of Swords, okay? And with that sort of truth... It's a double-edged sword. It's not always going to be what you think it's going to be. Okay, the truth can set you free, but it can also inflict pain. But the truth does need to be illuminated here. And I feel like you, you will get your answers with the hand in reverse. Alrighty, guys, so the energy, the spirit animal that's coming through for this person is the frog, I have to say. 
the downward pointing triangle with the line, uh, sorry, the downward pointing triangle is representing water. It could be a strong water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces. Um, but this person is going through some kind of a healing process. Okay, or they need to heal something up here. I feel like this person has strong addictions. Okay, there's something unhealthy here uh, between you and this person. It needs to be healed. It needs to be cleared up. Okay, I feel like this person is bringing tears. I really do. And I feel like it's going to be an emotional week. Okay. This is someone who just, you know, jumps right on into your life, comes back in like, what the W? I mean, WTF, what the F? But as quickly as they jump in, they jump back out again. And I just feel like this person is bringing tears. I'm seeing a lot of tears with this, these two cards. Like the rain's falling down. And we can see, you know, raindrops here in the moon card. And the moon does speak to heightened emotions. So there's definitely a release, um, a letting go. Uh, I feel like this person does want to come back in and communicate to you. Um, maybe they're coming in to apologize for, you know, hurting you. But I do feel on some level that there is, for some of you, for a small percentage of you, it's about letting go. And it's, it's, it's about truly beginning the healing process and the healing journey because I feel like you've been holding on to... Um, what could be possible with this person okay but this person's coming back into your life to you know restart the healing cycle for you so there we have it pisces i hope you enjoyed this read until next time take care bye for now